Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on LeeChess.org, and I just got paired up playing a 5-0 game. So, no living off of the increment. Now that's pretty rare, B6. I like going for this setup in reply to it. A quick ideal center, and then reinforce E4. Let's play Queen E2. It's pretty quick, but I think it's fine to do that. And c5, I'll go c3. Let's get knight f3 in. c5, c3, I have to be a little bit cautious of this. I may end up doing c3 and a3. I want to maintain this structure, so let's do this. Knight c6, a3. Okay, that's a bit surprising. All right, let's give this knight a kick. Challenge it if it jumps into e4 with the knight here. Hmm. All right, let's get castle. They might try queen c8. Hmm, okay, so they're preparing to exchange light square bishops, so I'm looking to sink my knight into there. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's do this right here. And then knight a3 into b5. Actually, maybe bishop g5 first. Hmm. Let's try this. Let's see if they give me their dark square bishop. Then I can maybe look forward to getting my knight to d6. Otherwise they have to move their queen to probably a bit of an awkward square. Don't really want to go to the c file. I'm expecting captures and I'll be giving up one of these two squares regardless of how I recapture on d4. Hmm. Not sure which one's better to give up. Okay, so they are giving up the dark square bishop. So maybe if the c-file does open up, I could be a pest in that I control c8. I maintain pressure on this knight. Okay, so they're just ruling that out altogether. Maybe I still go there. Hmm. Okay, well their knights are pretty restricted. Playing, I'm playing with a space advantage. I think I'm going to do a knight reposition. A knight on d3 I think could be quite good. So this pawn does a good job in restricting this knight, and a lot of the black pawns do a good job in restricting the knight on c7. Both are in a, uh, well this one's in a defens defensive posture, it's watching out for knight b5. Let's develop my knight. And I can look forward to this plan, f4, f5. Let's see what black does to stir up some trouble if they push here. Okay, or not. Hmm. If I play f4, f4, f5. On f4, they play f5. Hmm. Or do I take and try to play against this knight? Hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure what else to consider here. Pushing? At some point? I don't know about that. Hmm. I'm going to maintain my pawn here. I'm going to look to restrict their knights. I don't know if my knights are any better, to be perfectly honest. And it's, it's tough to see how to move forward after f5. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I like my knight position anymore. Maybe he wants to actually go to f3 now. <laughs> All right, let's try this. A lot of time is being invested here, but it's a pretty locked position, so. Are they gonna try something bold like captures queen to b4? Hmm. I don't know about that. Let's get my knight here. Actually on takes, I could take with my knight. I could consider taking like that because I would have pressure here. There'd be a little bit of a trade-off. I could get this square, but they could get, a, get on e4. Might be four, maybe. Pawn takes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this right now, actually. And I'm not quite sure how to recapture. I was thinking pawn, just to restrict this knight. Can't go to here, and if he goes here, he can't go to these two. Hmm. I may end up losing that pawn, though. If they push and then go here. 
and take with the queen. Seems pretty active. I guess some uh, slow improving moves like h3. Uh, just as a flight square. Uh, maybe c4 and b3 and c4 is an idea. Should maybe look to open this position up, huh? As it stands right now, I'm threatening b6, so they have to tend to that. And my knight could strike at e6. Knight g5. So I'd like to open this up. And then maybe throw in a quick strike here and restrict one of their minor pieces to defending this square. So maybe b3 and c4 is a good way forward. Hmm. Let's shoot for that. On takes, I may take with my knight. Okay, they're ruling that out. C4. My queen's short on squares, but she can't be trapped. Also, my queen could also attack e6. So I'm seeing I'm, I'm better because of my knight position, primarily. Uh, I have a little bit of a space advantage, and I'm seeing this as a target. Hmm. Pawn takes, I'm going to take like this. I have some lateral pressure. Uh, ensuing moves, one of my rooks, maybe both rooks to the C and D file. I'd like to get this move in. H3, they're down on time. No increment here. Am I close to just winning a pawn here? Knight C6. Um, I could always take here, and my queen is then threatening on b6. So could I already pre-move this? d takes c, queen takes c? Probably. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I take here. Or take this square first. Take the queen? Hmm. No, I don't want to invite their knight forward. Let's take here. I might end up with doubled b pawns. Yes, okay. But, let's see. Let me put pressure on the c5 pawn like this. I could give the knight a kick, a timely kick with e6. They're at about a minute. Whew, I have two super dangerous pawns now, connected passers, so let me take here first. And I wonder about doing this first, just to kill the knight. Huh. I could definitely think about doing that. Hmm. I'm going to keep pushing, though, like this. I want to keep a nice pawn chain. I may drop him, though. Not really. Actually, let's improve my knight position now. If rook c5, I have knight e6 with the fork. Okay, they ran right into that. Yeah. So my only concern is that they end up with those two. Is there something better? Let's take here first. And... Okay, let's take here. And I'm going to pin the knight and also be in a position to get behind that pawn. Hmm. Let's go here. Uh, their knight on e6 is pretty strong. Let's defend f4. They might try g5. Let's get behind him as soon as possible. And activate my other rook first. And then I'm threatening this, actually, because I have pressure on the knight. It might get mated. Uh, now I'm getting their knight. Am I not? Yeah, this should be good now. I'll be getting their knight and get behind that. these passers they just resigned. Whew. I'm not sure what to make of... Uh... Let me go into the analysis board. Um, let me not put on the local evaluation just yet. Hmm. Tough. I mean, this is what black is signing up for, really. When when you go with this system, white will be able to get this nice ideal pawn center. Black could make it flinch, 
like they did eventually with uh, the D5. So it shifts somewhat. Um, uh, it goes from having it an ideal pawn center to a space advantage. You know, it's pawn on E5, and the knight has to find a new home. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what to make of this position. Um, you know, the A4 move, the positive with that is that it controls this B5 square, which is a hole on the black end. But, hmm, you know, the drawback is that when this capture occurs, if I take like this, hmm, I guess the knight will be able to go to c5 regardless. I'm just I'm just wondering if I'm making an unnecessary weakness by playing a4. Thinking about jumping here. I guess there's a little bit of a give and take. Uh, yeah, no, actually, no matter what, on take. No, oh, okay. Here, here's the here's the situation. If I if I still keep my pawn on a2, then I still always can watch over b4. For example, if I just make a passing move, if they're capturing like this, I could capture like this and keep the knight out of c5, and I don't have any worries of uh, the knight jumping into e4. He's he's boxed out nicely, c5's under control, and trying to make use of b4, I still can rule that out with a3. So while I'm trying to eventually anchor a piece into this weakened square on b5 there's some drawback as well in that b4 uh, is maybe a square that black can exploit so hmm dark square bishops are off the knights kind of hmm what to make of it they're definitely well i have the better knights uh, I'd much rather my knights than uh, than theirs here. I have this space advantage. Uh, I'm I'm trying to figure out what would be a good pawn break. I don't know if this is really helping me. Uh, yeah, like capturing like this is not helping me. I just gave up a perfectly good, uh, nice, strong central pawn, and now they have something to bite at, so... It's important that I just leave this sitting. So the only other pawn break that I'm looking into is c4, but I don't believe that this is helpful because this knight can now make use of d5 at some point. You know, castles, and if I'm ever taking, well, what a wonderful square this is. So I kind of had to play, I kind of had to play this one slow, I think. Uh,. That's why I went with this little repositioning move. Knight e1, castles, knight d3. Let's actually have a look at what the graph is saying. Oh, it is in favor. It didn't really drop. Yeah. Um, right here. Uh, actually, let's, right around this point, let me put on the uh, computer. Does it? Is it in favor of f4 here? It wants to take. Okay, there's nothing wrong with f4 either. What was my concern with this? Oh, I didn't get to voice it, but it was just this idea of peace play. Yeah, the rooks finally having uh, some nice play. Well, I don't know about nice play, but some play, some activity now in the f-file. I realize that this is a backward pawn, but uh, I don't know how to really get at it. It's It's defended by the super defensive piece on c7. He's watching out for knight b5, and now he would have the role of watching over the backward uh, e6 pawn. Okay, so this is an idea. b3 and c4. Aha. Uh -huh. b3 and c4, so that on takes I can recapture and maintain my control over this square, which still kills the knight on c7. doesn't allow him to jump into play like I had pointed out earlier. If a c4 move is played and on some capture, the knight gets to post up on d5, but prepping it first with b3 and only then c4 is a different story. So this is a way forward, is the short story. If I did want to go with this capture, okay, now it also points out f4, so I guess I have my pick. No serious drawback with taking or just maintaining my pawn on e5.
Um, yeah. Okay, so I went with F4, F5, and now it looks to go forward with B3. <laughs> okay, uh, I went with the reposition here. So I guess the, the most efficient way is to go with B3 and C4. Okay. I could see that now. It's only giving us a well, half pawn advantage. Going with c4 right away? Yeah, okay, well, it's not, not working because of d4, so a little more prep work is needed here. I don't know about g6. h6 seems more human-like. I don't like these g6 moves that it's uh, suggesting. I like having this as a better home for the king. It's a, it's a nice pocket for the king. Uh, pushing that g-pawn you're now much more vulnerable to being cut off one day by a major piece, and the king maybe won't be able to move forward. Hmm. But, okay. We had f5, then I repositioned my knight to f3. A lot of repositioning here, huh? I went into b4, takes, queen takes, and yeah, this was my fear of this move. And then this pawn being hunted down. Yeah, this is kind of awkward. I guess that's to meet some pressure on b4 with defense. Yeah, uh, defense by my most valuable piece. So I didn't like that idea of taking with the pawn. I saw him has overextended. If it wasn't, if I did not have some fear of this pawn being a liability on b5. Uh, I would recapture because I like this fact that it kills the knight. And if he goes here, the, this pawn kills the knight from d7. I, there may be situations in a game where you could devise a plan around this, about uh, devise a plan around restricting a single piece, a knight. Uh, he's he's dead on b8, and even when he plays here, he's also dead. So it's it's difficult to see how the knight would be able to make progress if I'm able to maintain a pawn on b5 and d4. There's other factors, of course. Play along the c-file, a time of the opening up of the file, and black maybe grabbing some initiative or you know some play along the, the c-file due to their uh, quick control over it. But yeah, some plan might be tied in with restricting the knight. So... Anyhow, I took with the queen. I didn't want to lose a b-pawn. And now c4. I prepped it first with b3. I guess that wasn't needed. I could go straight in for c4. Okay, I went with b3. Now c4. And I guess when it opens up, this is when I just become better. Takes. Pawn takes. Yeah, and this knight still is underdeveloped. It's it's pointing out this move, and this is this is a way to completely kill the knight. He has these two, and I only need one more controlled. Rook here, and these pawns are just too strong now. Knight d4. Yeah, I don't think anything was really missed here, huh? Starts to be a growing growing advantage. No, it doesn't like that move. It wants to insert a check first. Hmm. Something was lost there. I guess this is one of the last points, really. This one. Rook here. Hmm. Okay, on king here, now this. So the knight can't make use of that square. Okay, yeah, this is certainly inconvenient for the king, isn't it? Hmm. If he goes here, well, he's going away from his desired area, which is towards the center. And now I get to do this stuff and really play against this knight. He's he's the one who, huh, he's the one who probably was the cause for the loss. I, I think he he had a tough time getting active. Hmm. So I could have. I mean, I was looking at restricting the knight earlier with pawns, but even with peace play, we could look to restrict this knight. So, rook here, knight d6. Yeah, it was a little bit awkward now for me to disrupt the king position. So I just defended. Yeah, I thought they might strike here right away. It went, went with a5. 
I just got behind right away. Rook there, rook c6, and then that's going to do it. Uh, I guess the last question I have is what would I have done if they did play after g3? Suppose they did play g5. I still just enter. And on pawn takes, takes, knight takes. Ooh, yeah, they're getting cut off, huh? Mate threats and stuff. Yikes. Yeah, everything is just falling now. Just to defend mate, they have to drop both of their their uh, connected pass pawns. Yeah, I just have a really active rooks there, so this knight can't go too far away. He has to defend that uh, pivot square on c7. Okay, well, I'm really not sure what more to add with this one. That's basically... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, because these rooks just got active and... Wherever he goes here, I'm getting the knight next. Okay, um, fairly happy with how things went in this one. Um, feel free, especially with the uh, clock situation, uh, with uh, uh, no increment for this one. But um, anyhow, feel free to leave any feedback in the comment section below to this video as usual. And I hope you got something out of it. That's all for now. Take care. Bye.